Business and Human Rights rose to prominence when the United Nations endorsed the Guiding Principles on Business and Human Rights, which really said that in addition to nation states, companies, business, also have human rights responsibilities. So that happened in 2011. Examples of that can be seen in the Modern Day Slavery Act in the UK, and also growing interest amongst the business community as they try to figure out what their responsibilities in relation to human rights are. Being here in Manchester, I'm excited by what Ken is doing, Ken McVeigh, and the uh, Human Rights Catalyst here is really a, an important uh, addition to the scene, the fact that the, it's in a business school. Uh, there are very few business schools in the world that are yet embracing this, but they will. We want to bring other schools into the fold and what's happening here at Manchester is really a very important development for us. Business schools, if they're going to educate leaders for the 21st century, need to be paying attention to the issues like human rights. The topic of this evening is the connection, the relationship between uh, business, uh, the private sector and the Syrian uh, refugee crisis. So there's lots of different ways in which those three seemingly disparate issues connect uh, together. Uh, for example, in Turkey, Syrian children uh, can end up working for companies that make the clothes that we buy in the high street.